Hi guys, I am Akhilesh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this session, we have two data analytical tools with us. One is Power BI and other is Tableau. We gonna discuss in this session what are pros and cons of these two analytical software or you can say the analytical tool. Which suits user best to use? We will discuss this also in this session. So stay tuned. In this session, we are gonna discuss a few uh, points for the Tableau and the Power BI. Which tool is best for the users to use? And what are the uh, features they both have? And what types of data we can uh, connect with these two softwares? And what are the pros and cons of using these two analytical tools. I am going to have a difference between these two so that we can understand what Tableau do for us and what Power BI do for us and what are the limitations and what are the pros and cons of these two data analytical tools. So first is Power BI. What Power BI is, is a business data analytics tool. And what does a business data analytics tool do? Business data analytics tool is used to analyze and derive insights from the business. On the other hand, Tableau is a business analytics tool along with the BI tool. Means business intelligence tool also. And these two combined features with Tableau and Tableau used for generating reports and uh, data visualization. And it has a high flex flexibility for generating reports and data visualization. Tableau have more connection to support, but comparatively Power BI have some lesser connection than Tableau. But both support, I think, 50 plus connections from the server or the data. You, if you have any warehouse or any server, you can go and connect with using these two samples also. Now, Tableau provides more advanced customization options for the dashboard and visualization. But Power BI on the other, have the, have the limited option for this. Power BI has more collaboration features built in, like commenting options, co-authoring options, but for these options, Tableau require a third party. Power BI is also easy to learn and allow you to modify the data, but Tableau only allow to working on the pre-processed data. And the cost perspective, Tableau is much costier than the Power BI. Tableau only given 14 days trial period to use for the user. And the Power BI desktop is you gonna use for a long time. Only needs license when you gonna publish using Power BI. Power BI provides a limited customer support. But in case of Tableau, Tableau has a very strong customer support and community forums for discussion. Power BI available in three categories. Power BI Desktop, Power BI Mobile, and Power BI Service. And its fundamental is set up on the Azure tenant. But Tableau allows sharing of the results generated on the Tableau desktop over online or server. Power BI just is a SaaS model based, like the software which is for service only. But Tableau is available for both on-premises and the cloud based. And when connecting a huge data with the Tableau, it produces the best result. So what 
we have seen the pros and cons what are the features each one have but as a user perspective which one suits me yeah which one suits you to use i can go with a conclusion line that the business intelligence tool is play a vital role for having business directions as far as power bi and tableau is concerned both power bi and tableau have their features and pros and cons in spite of it all depends on your business needs and requirements if your business allow to have requirement for analyzing and working on limited data then power bi is the best option for you because it is much cheaper than the tableau but at the same time tableau is a cost very high cost here i can you say its investment is gonna very high but tableau provides a lot of functionality and drilling down options when it comes to handling huge data from the multiple sources which needs to perform any type of statistical data and the fantastic data visualization over the data both power bi perform outstanding and both also following the etl process without any latency it depends on you that which one suits you and and it also depends of your business require what kind of data your business needs or you can say it's highly depends on the business skills and requirement that's all from my end thanks for watching